2018 was my first full year on YouTube, and I had the pleasure of running in several different great shoes. But these are my top three. What's up? Oakley 450 back, and this is my top three running shoes for 2018. All right, uh, all of the shoes that I ran in this year did really, really well. There was a few that I had some problems with and that didn't do as good as what I was expecting, but overall, most of the shoes did really great. All right, uh, starting off with number three, and this is one that I know that I'm going to hear people screaming for their computers automatically, all right, because this is my number three shoe, and that one is... The Vaporfly 4%. I know what you're saying. This is an amazing shoe. And I have shaved 13 minutes off my half marathon race time. Why is this my number three shoe? My, this is my number three shoe because yes, it is amazing. Yes, it is a good shoe and it is uh, it's great for speed workouts. But it's not great for everything. This is a shoe that is not versatile. And you don't want to waste this shoe on just any old workout or any kind of recovery run. That's why this shoe is going in as my number three shoe. I love this shoe, don't get me wrong, and I plan on trying out later this week, doing my first run in the Razor 3. They have finally arrived, and uh, from what I've heard, uh, this is the Vaporfly 4% Killer. Uh, we will see about that this weekend and see how these feel. Uh, with no carbon fiber plate, I'd, I'd like to really see this and see how those perform. Alright, number 3, Vaporfly 4%. Flying it. Alright, uh, next one. All right, now this one I consider to be like one of the sleeper hits of the year. And this is a shoe that I would not have picked up if it was not for you, the subscriber. Because I would have completely just passed by this one because it was not even on my radar. And now it is number two, the New Balance Beacon. All right, this shoe. I have put so many miles onto this shoe, and I have loved this shoe. From any kind of long runs to speed workouts, it is a very, very versatile shoe. And for the price that you can find these at now, this is a shoe that you cannot pass up on. I love this shoe, and I cannot say enough great things about it. Um, but like I said, if it wasn't for you, the subscribers, this one would have not have been even on my radar to pick up. And this was my first uh, experience with a New Balance shoe, so it was a great first experience. Really happy with this shoe. Plan on looking forward to the New Balance, the Beacon 2. That is definitely one I'm picking up next year. And I cannot wait for that one to come out. So keep an eye out for that review when that comes up. And finally, all right, now this is one that is uh, more of a controversial top shoe. You either love it or you either hate it. This is one of my favorite shoes. And if you've subscribed to my channel long enough, and if you've read any of the comments, you'll know automatically what shoe this is as my number one. And that is the Pegasus Turbo. All right, I already have two of these. And if they had the Chinese New Year colorway available where I could pick those up at the same price as these are, I would have the Chinese New Year uh, model. Uh, an amazing shoe, and this is like one of my favorite shoes to run in. A lot of people complain about it being a softer shoe and they don't like that feel. I love it. I, I mean, it is like perfect for what I like. And also it had some complaints about the, the toe box, having a shallow uh, height on the toe box. For me, it worked perfect and I love it. The only complaint I ever had with this shoe is the wear pattern on the outside lateral edge on those heels. And that's how much wear patterns on these because I'm trying to conserve them because I love this shoe and I do not want to retire it from a rotation. But you can see that on my other ones, it wore down quite a bit. I still run on these some, not as much as what I used to. I use these more often now. Number one shoe of the year, Pegasus Turbo, coming up into the next year. I'm looking to see what they, they make changes to these. I, I really hope they keep it mostly the same. All right, this is a shoe that I really hope they do not mess up. But if they do mess it up, I just plan on finding some extra turbos at a really, really cheap price. So, Nike, you make the call on that one. 
All right. Um, so that is my top three shoes for the year. Um, make sure you check those out. Try them on at a local running store. See what you think about those. And uh, let me know in the comments below uh, how they perform for you. If you've got to run in any of these. And what is your top three shoes? Let me hear what those are. Or what is your number one shoe? Your favorite shoe that you think that some more people should have picked up? Or some of them that way have uh, went over under the radar and they missed out on some really good shoes. This upcoming year, I plan on doubling the amount of shoes that I have ran in this year. I think I ran in... Uh, I think it's around 20 something different shoes so this upcoming year i'm wanting to run in at least 40 something different shoes is what i'm aiming for that is my goal by running in more shoes i'm not going to be able to put as many high mileage runs on those so i'm going to have to pick and choose what shoes i'm going to take up to my 400 mile reviews and that's going to be the really the top performers and the best of the best if there's a shoe in this upcoming year that you want to see a 400 mile review on let me know and i'll make sure that i'll try to push that one up and try to up the mileage on that. Most months this past year, I ran 200 mile months is what I usually aim for. This year, I'm aiming for at least 225 to 250. I think 225 is going to be really pushing it for me, but with me doing marathon training, I'm going to be able to get in into those higher, higher mileage numbers. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And uh, also later this week, like I said earlier, uh, I'll be doing my first run in the Razor 3. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you turn your notification on so you don't miss out on this shoe. From what I've heard so far, this is a shoe that you can't miss out on and it's a really good fast shoe that also is good at longer distances too. So I'll be adding that to my rotation later this week. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, as always, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for continued support and thank you for a great 2018 and I look forward to an even better 2019.